the future of council housing isn't looking great. In the early 1980s, we had six and a half million council houses. Mrs Thatcher comes to power and really inaugurates uh, a housing revolution. New council housing was vir virtually uh, halted. That uh, failure to build uh, the council homes, the council housing we acquire, is a, is a massive contribution to the housing crisis that affects so many currently. The number of social homes being built is at its lowest for 70 years. We are facing a chronic lack of housing that people can afford. Every single local authority has a big housing need. There is now a political will to build more social housing and to build it better. But we have new challenges too. In recent years we've seen offices converted into what some have called modern day slums under permitted development laws. Housing should be designed to be happier and healthier. New homes should be warm, spacious, built to last with decent outdoor space. When we think about designing a house, we need to think about people and, and think about the relationship between people and architecture, between the space we create and the kind of cultures that they uh, in, encourage. In particular, I'm fascinated by, by the idea of the street uh, as being the way that uh, housing and cities should be organised because of the social benefit of people enjoying shared space uh, with their neighbours. There are some great examples of what is happening elsewhere in the world. Social housing in Vienna. There, they had the same moment in 1977, shall we ditch all this or should we carry on going? And they carried on going, so still half the population of, of Vienna lives in social housing. There is no stigma attached to it whatsoever. There are bankers living next door to road sweepers, um, and it's, a, it's something that they celebrate. The rents are low and this means key workers can live in the city centre and commute easily to work. In France, instead of knocking down their 20th century housing estates, they're improving them. Architects Lacaton and Vassal have done amazing projects building exoskeletons to 20th century tower blocks. This gives the residents more space with balconies and winter gardens. It also makes the buildings perform better thermally and this is all done without displacing the residents. Do these ideas or projects sound out of our reach? There's a renaissance of council housing in the UK at the moment. Mikhail Rich's Goldsmith Street in Norwich is a fantastic housing estate. Goldsmith Street is 105 homes. It's all Passive House certified. Passive House is a German environmental standard, reducing fuel poverty, um, but also tenants are much more able to pay their rent, so less rent arrears, less having to move people on, and people are generally happier, healthier, and stay longer in those homes. I don't buy the, the social housing stigma uh, thing. Uh, um, I think the creation of social housing in the 30 or 40 years after the Second World War is one of the greatest achievements of our nation. And, 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 and you know, no other country built social housing at that rate. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. I say this is a question of choice. And if we want to put our money into creating housing and treating it as basic infrastructure and a human right, then that's something we could do. We're a wealthy country.